Welcome back. It is Thursday today and tomorrow is the 75th anniversary of VE Day. And I think it's really important that we celebrate this day. I was speaking to my grandma, well, both my grandparents who are, uh, both celebrated the actual VE Day 75 years ago and they just remember how, how memorable it was and everyone was out um, celebrating. And it'd be great for everyone to just uh, celebrate the day that we got victory in Europe 75 years ago. Uh, whether it's making a banner or a poster or putting some flags up or having a picnic in your front garden, you choose. But it'll be a great, great social day and um, it'll be lovely to lift spirits as well. But anyway, back to the thing. We had chapter one where we looked at the uh, characters. We found out about Morris Meek, Myrtle Meek and Meredith Meek and what lovely behaviour... Um, Myrtle showed. The next chapter is called Chapter Two, and it's called An Al Al Alphabet of Stuff. Okay. Over the years, Myrtle's bedroom became so piled high with stuff her parents got her that you could barely get in or out. She demanded more and more and more, and she got more and more and more. Myrtle had at least one thing for every letter of the alphabet. I think we're going to go through all the letters. You see here it says A for an ant farm house to a million and one ants. B for a boomerang that doesn't come back. Myrtle lost it on her first throw. C, you see C? C, the cowbell which the girl put round her mother's neck so she could locate her easily. D, dog grooming set, even though she didn't have a dog. E, an elf. F, finger puppets of every king and queen of England from 1066 to this present day. G, gravel collection. It was the biggest in Europe. H, ham slicer, even though she hated ham. Keep going. I, ice skates made for an elephant. Four of them, just in case. J, Jar containing one of scientist Albert Einstein's burps. K. A knee, warm, knee warmers. L. A lucky sausage. Who? Lucky sausage. Actually, it was unlucky. M. A map of Belgium. A country she had no intention of ever visiting as it was, in her words, too Belgium-y. N. Nelson's column made out of sultanas, life size. Oh, owl fudge. This is fudge made of melted down owls. It is even more disgusting than it sounds. P, painting of some air? Eh? It wasn't much to look at. What a painting. Uh, Q, quicksand. Children who came over to play date and ended up displeasing Myrtle Met their doom in it. There's their quicksand. Ah, oh, remote controlled hedge, which could reach speeds of up to one mile an hour. Wow. S. Stuffed flea. It was so small that it was impossible to see. Sorry, there you go. T. Turnip shampoo. It made your hair smell as fresh as a turnip. U. Underpants for worms. Only come in size small. V. Venom for a poisonous aubergine. Deadly. W. Wombat juicer. Perfect for producing a cool, refreshing glass of wombat juice. X. Xylophone case. Most of them want an actual xylophone. Just the case for one. Nearly there. Why? A Yeti. It hasn't been sighted in the Himalayan mountains for years because Myrtle kept it locked in her cupboard. And finally, Zed. Zebra dung. It was the only thing she could think of that began with Zed. Wow. One thing Myrtle didn't have any of was books, despite her parents being librarians. She detested books and thought they were boring. The 
girl had all this stuff, a universe of junk, but still she wanted something more. The funny thing was that she just didn't know what. Chapter three. Fury. Can you guess what Myrtle demanded for her 10th birthday? In the incredibly unlikely event that you guessed, she demanded a pair of exploding socks, a life-size blue whale bath toy. When it went in the bath, all the water spilled out. A blue model of the Taj Mahal, a pencil unsharpener, and a robot pee. Then congratulate, congratulations, you are correct, and you win a pound. Mr and Mrs Meek were forced to give their daughter all these things that she had demanded for her birthday. If they hadn't, Myrtle would have howled the house down. Happy birthday, our beautiful angel, they called out as Myrtle lay in bed, ripping open her presents, and throwing the scrunched up balls of wrapping paper back at them. Russell, doink! Moments later, she was demanding something more. What was unusual this time, though, was that the girl had absolutely no idea what that something should be. Myrtle had so many things that she couldn't think of, a single thing in the world she didn't have. I want a thing! She announced over breakfast. The girl was scoffing a ginormous bowl of chocolate ice cream with 17 chocolate flakes stuck, stuck in it and an ocean of chocolate sauce on top. Yes, Myrtle had chocolate for breakfast and lunch and dinner. What would you say no to her? Mr and Mrs Meek, who were dipping their neatly cut soldiers into boiled eggs, shared a worried look at... A thing? Whatever did she mean? A thing, my dearest darling? asked Mother, putting down her book. 100 poems for ladies. Yeah, are you deaf? A thing? What's a sweet what's a what's a what's what's a thing, sweetness? inquired Father, putting down his book One Hundred Poems for Gentlemen. We are discussing over breakfast. I dunno. But I want one. How do you spell it? asked Mother. Myrtle's face went scarlet with fury. I ain't thick. You spell it the normal way. F I N G Thing The girl thumped the breakfast table with her fist to add emphasis. All the crockery went flying in the air and smashed to the floor. Crash bang wallop Pick up those pieces now the girl ordered. On their hands and knees under the kitchen table, Mr Meek whispered to his wife What what are we going to do? Our beloved offspring wants a thing, but I don't think a thing is real. I worry a thing is made up. We'll have to do something. I mean, something, replied Mrs Meek just before she felt a boot up her bottom. Boo! Ouch, she cried. Shut up down there, came the voice from above. I could barely hear myself blow off. Pruff. That's better. Mr and Mrs Meek were in a panic. If they didn't come up with some thing, there was going to be trouble. Big trouble. That's the end of chapter three. How are Mr and Mrs Meek going to get the thing? I don't know. Okay. Well, I won't be back till Monday now because of VE Day. But have a lovely long weekend. And I look forward to reading the next chapter on Monday. All right. Take it easy. Bye.